Well, since um, since I've been tapping these birch trees uh, and I've got all this juice, I'm making my first batch of syrup with it. Uh, and I want to show you what's going on, how I'm doing it. Um, but since I since I've tapped the trees, I have not consumed anything but birch juice or sap, whatever you want to call it. Um, my little my deer horn my deer horn antler taps that I've made work so well. I mean, they they work so good. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is with this drill. You know, got a little auger on it. Just tapping into the tree, you know, tapping into the tree and then trying to drill up a little bit. Then sticking my, my tap in there and then it just drips, drips right out the bottom, drip, drip, drip into my, into my bucket. And I probably, I don't know how many gallons a day I got. I got five trees tapped and, um, I just get a lot of juice, man. I mean, I make my coffee with it. I brush my teeth with it. Uh, I mix my liquor drinks with it. I do everything. That's all. That's the only water that I've used since I've tapped the trees. It's pretty awesome. I mean, when you think about it, when you tap a tree and you get everything you need out of that tree, it, it blows my mind, man. I mean, I, I love this shit so much. But anyway, so I got all this extra juice and I'm making... I'm making syrup and so what I do is I try to get it because you got ton, tons of juice and if the juice starts out or the sap it's just clear it looks just like it's just water it looks just like water um, got a little hint of a sweet taste to it um, tastes like rainwater but anyway I try to get the pot up to about just under boiling uh, 250, 200 to 250, just to let it steam real good. And uh, I, I run it like a meth lab all day long. I'm trying to, I'm sitting here keeping my temperature 250. I'm adding juice. Uh, it's time consuming, man, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, but so, you know, it starts out completely white, and then as you cook it down and it reduces down, it starts to get like a tea color. Um, and I guess the, the, the more you reduce it down, the darker and darker it keeps getting. But, you know, and, and then when, when my jugs fill up, I'll come in here and I'll just keep adding, you know, I'll just keep adding more juice. And I've been doing this for three days now and just keep reducing it down slowly. It takes, it's a, it's a process. That's three days worth of, that right there is three days worth of, uh, you know, me, me doing this and stirring whatever. And because burnt syrup tastes like ass to me, it's, I would never put it on pancakes. I, it, never. So I've been adding honey, wildflower honey just to sweeten it up a little bit because I think it tastes like shit. <laughs> but, I mean, everybody up here loves it. And when you make something yourself, you love it. And I'm sure I'm going to love this. It's going to be the best in the world. But as it cooks down, like you get granules. You're not, you're not going to be able to see it here. But it, it's almost like a sawdust that, or, that floats on top of the water. And I guess that's just what it, I don't know. But it, it is what it is. And, you know, it's like a like a sawdust almost but in, anyway and i want to show you this this is why this is so special to me my granddaddy whittled this carved this years and years ago out of a cedar tree in his yard and it got struck by lightning he carved he carved a couple spoons and stuff like this but he used this and i watched him and i've sat there with him in a sugar furnace and we've made uh, cane syrup and he used this to take the skimmings just like I'm doing you know stirring the skimmings off the side when you cook cane syrup you do the exact same process and you take the skimmings off the top and reduce it down and make cane syrup which cane syrup is in a whole different ball game than birch syrup it's like cane syrup is at the very top birch syrup is at the very bottom <laughs> in my opinion in my opinion I would I don't know it, I don't know, whatever, but that's just my opinion. Um, 
But that's why this is so special to me, because my granddaddy, oh, I'm trying not to get emotional. I, when I use stuff, I feel like he's here with me, and it just makes it that much special to know that his hands, <clears throat> that his hands were touching this spoon and doing the exact same thing I did, you know, I'm doing, and it's, it's just special to me. But I'll make another video as the syrup, I'm gonna cook it for another three or four days, maybe even a week. I don't know, and and just see how much I can get, and I'll come back and give you a video and uh, do a little taste test. <laughs> All right.